won't ask questions hey. if it's for college. Okay, gotta go. Cause Miss Marvel's on duty. Now even though the primary roster of the game is going to consist of the main members of the Avengers, it's really cool to get some fresh blood within the mix as well. Anyways, welcome back True Believers and all you Merry Marvelites to another very interesting Avengers Project related video. Now even though this particular character was only meant to be revealed for the specific crowd within Hall H during the Marvel Games panel at San Diego Comic Con, it was revealed after some leaks shortly afterwards. Plus, it was already heavily teased that she was the one who was actually narrating the previous trailer that we have seen of the Avengers project. And knowing that her overall involvement within this game's story will most definitely add some narrative intrigue to the mix of the Avengers story, as well as her very exciting power set, I'm very much interested to see how Crystal, Square, Eidos, and Marvel will handle her character within the overall world of Marvel's Avengers. Especially considering that this is her first ever appearance within a fully AAA Marvel game, there is actually quite a lot riding within this initial interpretation of her character. And knowing that this could be someone's first ever experience exposure to her character that makes it all the more important. And as you should know by now, I'm mainly referring to the massive Avengers and Marvel superhero fangirl of Kamala Khan, also known as Miss Marvel. And even though I won't showcase the leaked footage within this video, it was really cool to actually see Kamala Khan be exposed by the Terrigen Mist within her overall reveal of the Marvel's Avengers demo. Still, the game's creative director of Sean Eskai did say that the primary roster that will be focused on the game's main narrative is actually the core Avengers team with that of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, and Black Widow. So even though Miss Marvel was basically confirmed to be playable during the Comic-Con panel, we don't know for sure how much of an impact she will have during the game's story. Lucky for us, this video isn't directly relating to what type of narrative Kamala Khan will have within the Avengers project, but rather what type of costume she will have instead. Now I gotta be honest, out of all the other top 5 suit videos I have done for the other Avengers members so far, Kamala Khan was actually the hardest out of the bunch considering how new she is. If you're on where Kamala Khan was introduced within Marvel Comics lore ever since August of 2013, which makes her a fairly recent new character within the overall world of the Marvel Universe. This doesn't just make her involvement within Marvel's Avengers that much more exciting considering how new she is, but it also means that her array of costumes is very limited to say the least. However, I did manage to find 5 outfits that definitely showcase the array of styles that Kamala has flaunted throughout the entirety of her comic runs. And while these suits definitely have their own unique appeal, I'm very interested to see how Crystal is going to manifest the Miss Marvel suit within their universe of the Avengers project. But considering how lackluster some of the other Avengers look like as of right now, I really do hope that they go above and beyond with Kamala's attire once we do see her full outfit within the game. But as for the alternate costumes themselves, let's begin with one of the most newer costumes that you can find within her overall Marvel Comics appearances and her brand new series of the magnificent Miss Marvel. So at first glance, this costume does kinda look like a more armored version of her classic attire, but if you do look at it more closely, there are a lot of cool intricacies within this overall outfit. Miss Marvel was never one to have the most flashiest of costumes, but I definitely think given the attire that they are going for with this magnificent look, it definitely adds a lot more vibrancy compared to her other costume. Especially if you look at this costume with a fine tooth comb, I definitely appreciate the more golden accents on the overall different parts of the costume, as well as the cool sun logos located on her knees and her arms. Not to mention that after looking at this suit, I really do hope one aspect that they put within her customization is actually changing what type of mask you want to put on Kamala herself. This could either range from a mask that completely covers her entire face or maybe even wearing no mask if she doesn't care about her secret identity. And as perfectly placed segues go, that absolutely relates to the second outfit on this list is none other than the vigilante suit that Kamala wears during her first escapades as Miss Marvel. As I said previously, I do think a really cool customization feature that they could add for Miss Marvel is choosing which type of mask you would want want her to wear. It could be something as simple and traditional as her standard Miss Marvel mask, or something a bit more discreet and secretive with that of this overall head wrap. And alongside of that, we also know that after Miss Marvel is actually exposed to the Terrigen Mist, and after a day is over, we then go into a five year time jump after the events of that tragedy. And during the time that the Avengers are actually disbanded after these events, we don't know actually where Miss Marvel resides within that current timeline. So within those five years, she could have either fully 
mastered her powers as Miss Marvel, or she might still be doing some stuff under the radar since superheroes are outlawed within this overall attire. And considering how dedicated the developers are on delivering a fully original Avengers story, I would actually like to see what the early stages of Miss Marvel look like when she is acting as a superhero. So if that actually means we end up seeing Kamala wear something like this instead of her standard uniform, I wouldn't mind the slightest. And speaking of her standard uniform, that's obviously a definite giveaway to what the third costume on my list is, is obviously her 100% classic Miss Marvel outfit. This one is a dead giveaway considering how we already know Crystal is going to be putting in their own unique designs on the Avengers roster within their main universe. So after seeing Captain America have a much more militaristic look and Thor having a much bulkier look, it makes me that much more curious to see what Crystal's version of Kamala's outfit is going to be within this overall universe. And while it may be a given that they are going to take aspects of her classic outfit and put it within their own unique design, I still think having a 100% comic accurate look within the game would be very much appreciated from hardcore fans. And just like how I would personally love to see what the classic Captain America uniform and classic Thor armors look like within this game's universe, the same exact thing can be said with what the classic Miss Marvel suit would look like within this game's world. And knowing that Crystal, Eidos, Marvel, and Square already confirmed that there will be a plethora of fan favorite and classic outfits within this game, I do believe the classic Miss Marvel outfit is almost 99% guaranteed at this point. But even though Kamala does have a small array of outfits that do relate to her standard look, I still think a much more classic and or civilian look would be very interesting to see within this overall universe. From what was showcased during the San Diego Comic-Con footage, we do see Kamala Khan running around the Chimera Helicarrier wearing a Captain Marvel t-shirt. So not only does this indirectly confirm the existence of Captain Marvel within this universe, which I will do a suit video on another time, but it's also a small glimpse to the standard civilian life Kamala had before she got exposed to the Terrigen Mist. And while a standard civilian look might come off as a bit bland compared to the much more extravagant suits that the other team members have, I still believe adding in a blend of realism would fit in really well with the world that Crystal, Square, Marvel, and Eidos are trying to create within Marvel's Avengers. And as a bonus, I just think it would be pretty cool to see Kamala Khan wearing a Captain Marvel shirt actually teaming up with Captain Marvel during some point of the game's story. But whether or not we'll actually end up seeing that happen is still up for debate. Now as for the very last suit on this list was actually kind of a challenge for me considering I couldn't find any other outfits that related to alternate costumes that Kamala was sporting within the comics. But as it turns out, thanks to my awesome friends Is Amazing and Carlos, there actually is a costume that Kamala wore when she was actually older during her career as Miss Marvel. And considering how almost every hero has one of these, it just makes sense that a character like Miss Marvel would have one too. And if you don't know which costume I'm talking about, I'm mainly referring to Kamala Khan's stealth suit where she's also known as Agent Khan. So out of all the costumes that have been displayed so far, I can say that this one is definitely the most tactical out of the bunch and would certainly fit well with another character teaming up within this game like that of Black Widow. Even though it might not be the stealthiest of options, I do like how they kept in the classic yellow Thunderbolt shape along with adding some really cool implementations of black and red within this overall suit. And for me personally, I definitely like the much longer hair that Kamala is sporting here compared to that of the shorter hair which was showcased during the Comic-Con footage. And just like the mask, if we are able to customize some of the main characteristic features of some of the other characters like that of hair length or mask variations, I would just love to see any of that be featured in the game regardless. From what the developers have said so far, it definitely sounds like the customization features within this game will definitely hold a lot of variety for a multitude of players for years to come. And knowing that we'll also be receiving some original costume designs from the developers themselves within this game, I'm very excited to see what type of suits they could implement for a character like Miss Marvel. But primarily based off of the costumes that are in her comic runs as of right now, I definitely believe these five picks are well suited for a character like Kamala Khan. And with all that said, everyone, that's the video I have for you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think of my top five suit list for Miss Marvel within the Avengers project? And please let me know your own personal top five picks as well. Now, if I had to choose one of these costumes, I definitely think it is a tie between the Magnificent Miss Marvel suit as well as the Agent Khan uniform. I thoroughly enjoy how radiant the Magnificent suit is compared to that of her classic uniform, but I do appreciate the more stealthy look that the Agent outfit is going for. Still, the team working on this game definitely sounds extremely passionate when it does come to the overall customization options that you can have while playing, so I'm very excited to see how that's all going to unfold once it does release. And knowing for almost a fact that the predecessor of Miss Marvel with that of Captain Marvel is surely going to be in this game, you can definitely expect a top 5 suits video for her coming up relatively soon. But until that time comes everyone, thank you all so much for watching, stay merry Marvelites, and peace out.
Go ahead. Say it. You know you want to. Say what? Avengers assemble, baby! You are such a nerd. 